Well, here we are at Overbury Farms. So it's January the 14th. I just want to give you a bit of a, an overview of our cover crop trials again that we're hosting again this year with Kings and Niamh Tag and Frontier and actually DSV as well. I've got some different mixes in at the end of the trial plots here. I'm not going to have time to walk across the whole field. Um, it's a little bit windy up here today, but I just wanted to just give a little explanation about what we're doing. Again, this is a slightly different aspect to uh, where the cover crop field was last year. We're at about a thousand feet above sea level, right up on the Cotswold Bratch. That's looking um, over towards the Cotswolds there. And uh, we've got Tewkesbury just down in that direction, which is just very slightly underwater at the moment. But these were planted on the 7th of September um, at quite an altitude. So the actual growing season, although it's been fairly mild all through the winter, um, we had only had our first real proper frost the other day. Um, they're obviously planted um, about a month later than the ones we looked at last year. So the overall biomass uh, that these crops are able to produce has been slightly hampered because of that. So in this first one that we have here, this is a mixture of rye and vetch. Um, vetches, they're just starting to put a bit of, uh, a few um, nodules out to fix a little bit of nitrogen. Not very much, but um, it's certainly trying to, trying to help a little bit. Then we've got some black oats and vetches. Um, yes, yeah, slightly little bit more cover there. Um, and that, uh, that's again fixing a little bit of nitrogen and the, the oats will be mopping up quite, uh, quite a reasonable bit of nutrient that's left. Sort of existence really, um, which is not what you find exactly next door here. Um, we're into black oak radish and vetch. Um, quite, like, like, quite like this, the, the radishes are working really, really well. Um, the oats are in there for a while ago. Um, that's a good time for those radishes. I uh, grabbed some up the other day on a farm walk. Um, and they were getting down to sort of six or seven inches of good sort of uh, mini parsnip sizes, if you like. So uh, that's encouraging. The soil type here is possible. So we've probably only got six or seven inches of soil up here anyway, so that's, uh, that's actually doing reasonable very good. And uh, as we move across this way, um, we're into uh, soil structure mix, um, which is sort of oats and phacelia, radishes, um, so quite a bit more of a diverse, uh, diverse kind of species mix really, which is, which is one of the things that I look for. Um, and this is some of the soil types that we're looking at here. So big limestone lumps. Um, they actually look like the drill was sort of running out of seed a little bit here as well, um, with the cover that we've got. Um, so I'll pop back a bit later on and we'll have another, another look at the rest of the, the mixes here. But the, the four reasons really for cover crops are soil, sort of soil structure creation, movement, compaction, uh, nutrient capture is another one. Soil stability as well, this project, uh, this field's got a project University to have a look at uh, soil movement within the field amongst other things. So that's going to be really interesting to see the impact of cover crops um, on soil moving around on the field from an environmental um, point of view. And uh, finally it's all about organic matter creation. You've seen the stones that we have here. We don't have very much soil so the more of this organic matter I appreciate is going to take a long time to get there. Um, but uh, 